Good morning, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Did you have a good night? Was it kind of rainy? Yeah, we had some rain here in Evan. So, hello, Grow Town. Hello, CSRA. Hello, Georgia. And hello, the world. So, very glad that you've joined me today. Let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, the Harlem Library, Uchi Creek, now the Growtown Library in that new building. Look at you sitting in the new building. It's so great. Uh, so here we are. We're doing a gadget help this morning, a morning session and an afternoon session. Now, do remember we have switched over to YouTube. So to be able to post in our chat, ask me questions, tell me about the tech gadget that you're having problems with. You do have to be logged into YouTube to post stuff into the chat. And of course, to like our videos and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. So if you or a friend or family members have an issue with the laptop, cell phone, tech gadget kind of thing going on there, <laughs> Amazon Fire, want to ask me questions, I'm right here. Of course, this is Gadget Help with Alex Live. Live is not my last name. <laughs> That's my middle name. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I lost my track about the live middle thing. That was pretty funny, I thought. Off the cuff. There you go. Live Alex, Gadget Help. Okay, so let's talk about some of our other things that we have going on. So this week, oh, the big question, I kind of already did this. How can I help? Post questions of help into the chat. Of course, we'll be live until 1 o'clock today, and then this afternoon we'll be live 2.30 to 4.30 with Gadget Help stuff. Now, if I don't get any questions, hello, Mac. Welcome, welcome, Mac. Welcome. If I don't get any questions or not many questions, I'll start talking about some other topics like what resources that you can get for free with the library, like free ebooks, free audiobooks, and British TV with Acorn TV. So I'll be talking about that some. To kind of fill in the spaces, excuse me. So let's talk about what we did on Tuesday. Well, on Tuesday, our class was Internet Safety and Security. Okay, we talked about keeping ourselves safe online when we're away from our home Wi Fi, keeping ourselves safe there. And I know I had some questions on Facebook about that. If that class was going to cover that, yes, it does. And we also talk about what is a VPN. And then we continued that class. We did it one more time. Uh, try to answer some new questions on that one too. Of course, what a VPN is, cyber scams, online bullying, malware, how to protect yourself. And also we had some uh, suggestions on passwords there too. Also, we did video creating basics over here and it was a great success. It's a lot of fun class. Uh, if you don't know, Windows 10 actually does come with a video editor. Okay, so and it has a very generic name. Uh, it's called Windows 10 Photos App is what the program is. But if you do click the start button, scroll down, not only was it just called Photos, but it's also called Video Editor. Okay, so if you want to go straight to the Video Editor part, just look on the Start menu. And I can show that real quick. Just go on the Start menu like this. And if you scroll all the way down, Alphabetical, Alphabetical, and there it is right there, video editor. And that's the uh, video editor that comes free with Windows 10. You can create slideshows with that, edit videos, and we did a whole uh, session with that, and it's a lot of fun. It's a great project to do right now, especially if you're trying to capture old VHS tapes, which is one of my projects I'm working on, and then trying to translate all that so I can share it with friends or family and upload it to the Google Photos Cloud so they can share it with other friends and family and stuff like that too. Also, we did some special effects like fireworks. Pew, 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 pew. Fireworks. Beer, pew, beer, pew. Did you like that? I don't know. Yeah, I thought it was pretty fun. Okay, so of course we're doing our gadget help this morning and then we're gonna do some gadget help this afternoon too. Now in our, uh, uh, excuse me, in our afternoon class this afternoon, uh, we'll actually be posting our schedule for next month, okay? Can you believe September is almost here? Yes, it is. The cooler weather is on the way, okay? So this is our, our schedule for this past month. 
So all these classes are still available on here. Maybe I'll kind of bend my head there. How about that? Or maybe I should disappear for a second. <laughs> I'll disappear for a second. How about that? So we did birding earlier in the month, uh, scratch to Python, blocks to coding, library resources, naps, Google School, Google Suite 101, eBay and Facebook Marketplace, internet buying and selling. When we did our boot camp class, which is broken up into three uh, extra classes here, or separate classes, I should say. The Windows 10, introduction to Windows 10 and flash drive basics, internet and browser basics, uh, Google search and internet safety basics, and then we did our internet safety and security class. And on our Harlem, we did scratch Python block decoding, video creating basics, internet shopping and digital couponing, internet safety and security, and then for Growtown, we did library resources and apps, birding, introduction to Razor Pi computing um, projects, ideas, and of course now we're doing our gadget help. A little side note, um, the libraries are open with limited services and hours. I do know yesterday that the hours and opening times uh, changed, so definitely check the website. Curbside pick, pickup hold is available, but if I can talk. Curbside holds pickup is available, which is a great, awesome service. Make sure to thank the librarians for doing that. Um, you can go to gchrl.org for details, or you can call into the libraries Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and to keep up to date with our information, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates and everything. And if you're, you're right now, you're on our YouTube channel, but if you're trying to find our YouTube channel, you can always go to YouTube and search for GCHRL videos and it'll pop right up. Now, one of the things is, do realize that, like I said yesterday, the opening days and times changed in our library, so you just need to check the GCHRL.org or their Facebook pages to see what the new times and the information on that about the schedule and stuff. Of course, we're still staying virtual and safe. Um, no uh, programs are being done at the library. So, of course, I'm doing all my classes online. And, of course, story times and any other things like that are online as well. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go back here. And, look, I'll come back too. Yay, I'm back. Hey. <laughs> and I think I am actually will go all the way back. So, I have a big thing that says... Post your chat questions in the chat. How can I help? I think that might be best. We just kind of hang out there. Oh, Jane. Hello, Mac. Hello, Jane. Okay, let's see. Jane has a question. Okay, I have an old hard disk camcorder that I want to get the pictures and videos off help it's a JVC okay so let's start with that that's perfect giving me the model number we can do a little bit of research <laughs> okay so That might be easiest to start with the manual. Let's see, GZM130. And it's the 130. Okay, so this is. Oh. Move my no, don't do that. There we go. Okay, so now I can see the chat again. Let me move. I look a little more square there. There we go. It should. Okay, so I like how they have a, a thank you note on there. So let's look and see. So this is a. Can I just download it? Or do I have to go through? 
can't. Okay, good. Right? Okay. <laughs> Just open the file. All right, we're working on it here. This is live troubleshooting. Trouble might happen. Okay, so download. Click download. And we'll just try to open it right now. <laughs> hmm. I'm loading it as a different file for some reason. All right, give me a moment. So it saves it. There we go. Okay, now, so now we can zoom in and control it a little bit. We see less advertisements. I do like that there's a thank you note on there. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, good. All right, so you want to get the pictures and video off of there. Important report data, DVD, media storage, make trial recording. Reset the camera. Recording, playback, playback files, video playback, still images. Also, I need the direct. Okay, Jane says. Also, I need the directions on how to make a video. Okay, so like to record a video. To record a video. Okay, I do know that this is a one that has a built-in hard drive. So one of the big things is to make sure that it does have hard drive space on it. <laughs> there you go, checking the remaining space on the recording media. Okay. So let me post. I'll, Jane, I'll post this into the chat. So you can go down there, go down there. You can go there and uh, download basically what I've opened up, okay? So still recordings. Have you been, uh, let's see, have you been using it to take photos? Or is it just videos that you've been using? Okay. Well, let's dive in and see. All right, so it looks like we need to go to check the remaining space. So let's check that first. And it shows, let's see, a dock. Those things are usually, don't come with a device. Okay, so both. Hopefully we don't have to have software for it. There's our connectors. You can connect an AV out and a USB connector on there. Let's see about the strap. Remote. 
I have to think about all our buttons on there, all our buttons on our remotes. I'm just kind of walking through here. There's all our indicators on the screen. Okay, so I think that would probably tell us something very quickly, so let me see. Just focus. Plot exposure, image quality, remaining time. So number four. Okay, so if you turn the device on, it looks like oh, during recording only. Okay. <laughs> okay, and still images. So that doesn't really help. That's only helps if you're recording something. It tells you what's left. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to go to so basically it's just kind of showing us about the playback modes and everything which we're not there yet that was about the battery packs language settings Okay, so you can put an SD card in there as well. Flip the hard disk just for the fact you can change recording me into the SD card. Okay, so do you, uh, Jan, do you, um, Jane, excuse me, do you have an SD card in there? you can save there as well now if you've saved stuff to the SD card ooh, okay so it actually shows that was good timing <laughs> because it actually shows right here with SD card is okay so oh, that's too big so if you turn over the device, okay. So turn it upside down. Apparently there's a flap that you pull open there, okay. Make sure the device is turned off though. And then the SD card basically should be in the bottom, okay. And it is one of those where you have to push it in for it to kind of pop out and then you can pull it out as well. Now with the SD card, basically if you put that, if you pull that out and then put that in a computer, you should be able to view the pictures off of there or whatever else has been recorded to it. Did you get it? Like I said, you may have to push it in a little bit to let it kind of pop out and then pull it out with your hand. And let's see. Yeah, only remove it when the power is turned off. Okay. If 
you should be able to put that does that look like a standard SD card Oh, okay. So it's kind of a micro that goes into, let's see, like a little caddy for it. You should still be able to, if you don't have a little caddy or if your computer doesn't support, here, here's what I'm looking for. So we have a little micro SD card here and you can put it in a caddy if you need to, to put it in something larger that with a, um, you know the standard SD card size or you can of course there are some computers that actually do have the little micro plug but most of the time we have to switch it out or there's one and I'm trying to show I convenient to have something right near me this is actually a certain type of plug that you can use and I know the light may make it transparent in some way but anyway you can actually yep there we go sorry <laughs> It auto adjusts, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, so this you can actually put a micro SD card in, and it'll actually go into the USB into the computer. Okay, so there's lots of different options to be able to do that. That would be the quickest way to get the pictures off. the com The camera may support plugging the other cord in in some way, which that's what we're going to talk about in just a second. But as far as what's on the SD card, just plugging it into the computer might be the easiest way to do that to see what's on there. And using the, uh, of course, the file explorer down here if you're using the, the Windows 10 computer, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at, so we have our video recording okay good okay good so the caddy is what you want and that'll make it universal to be able to use on the other devices too okay so let me see here so there's your recording you put it in the on mode hit the start it'll show you how much time you have left but I think we want to see The other thing showed about how to see any time how much you have left is about turning the light on and off. Flash mode, there's your zoom. Okay, so I know we have said we need to see how much is left. So go ahead and turn on the device. Okay. and switch the knob to uh, the record mode, which is, uh, where is it on here? <laughs> there it is. So put it into the on mode here, okay? So the, make sure it's on camera and press the play record button. Okay, hang on here. Press play record button, select recording mode. The maximum recording time is displayed for each picture quality mode, extra fine. Okay, so check in the remaining space on the recording media camera mode only, which is what we're really interested in. Okay, so you press the play record button to select recording mode and then click where it says index. And then it should pop up and tell you how much time you have left on in the hard drive. Okay? 
Now, why is this important? This will let us know how much is actually the hard drive is being taken up with video as well. So go ahead and try that and see um, how much video time does it, how much hard drive space is left so it can record video. <laughs> we'll figure that out eventually, won't we? Okay, so try that, and I'm gonna go ahead and look into transferring the videos to like your computer, okay? It's interesting, because it's like I wanna do a still shot here. Oh, the card will not go back in. Okay, we'll make sure it's in its little caddy. You may have to press it in, and then it kind of pushes out a little bit. It only goes in one way. How about that? You can't put it in the wrong way because it only goes in one way. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I have one of the little caddies around me. So just remember the little SD card only goes in one way, okay? with the green screen thing so yeah so here's a little micro SD card there and you can put it in like a little caddy something like that and then you can plug it into the USB I actually have a new a new one that does it a little bit differently show you that real quick So that one it kind of slid in the back and this is kind of a newer one that they're doing and it has a USB on it but the interesting part is instead of putting the SD card here like in the back somewhere it actually goes actually into the USB part like that which still kind of blows my mind so 
And then of course you plug it in and the SD card is actually here. So that's the actual part that you're putting into the uh, USB, okay? But yeah, so that's one way to read the files off of there. You can, it doesn't require the SD card, but you should just uh, play around with it. You should be able to get it in there. It only goes in one way. The big thing is about to have the caddy. Well, it sounds like you're having to put it, the micro SD card into a caddy uh, to be able to get that to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's see how much hard drive space it has, okay? So it doesn't have to have that because now we're actually going to be looking at what hard drive uh, space it has. Okay, so turn the turn it on, switch the mode to the camera mode. Okay, sure. Turn it on, switch the camera. So do the slide the power mode on, turn the mode to the camera mode and then press the play record button and it'll select the recording mode, okay? And then it should show this according to the manual here. Uh, you may have to hit the index button. This is one of those things, if it was in my hand, I may be able to uh, show it a little bit better than just talking about and reading the manual. But we do what we can. <laughs> okay, so do you see how much hard drive is left? Okay, that's good. Let's see, so the maximum recorded time display in the picture quality. Oh, okay. So did you get this on the screen, this section here? Okay, okay, good. So how much, uh, so 
So there actually has three, uh, excuse me, it has four levels there. So according to the manual here, it shows that there's, you can have it set to normal, which is what I'd recommend. Okay. And I'm kind of blocking, so I'll disappear for that. So it has the three, excuse me, four different modes here. Okay. I would probably record in normal, if not fine or ultra fine. It depends on how much you want to record. Okay. But definitely on normal, I would not do economy in any way. And it talks about how much space you have left. So on the normal with the N, how much t space does it say you have left or time you have left? Can you see that? Okay, 48. Okay. It was kind of funny just putting $8 on there. <laughs> uh, okay. So 48. That's great. Okay. So wait, is that minutes or hours? I guess that would be minutes. Okay, good, good. All right, now, now that we know how much time we have left on the recording, and I'll come back here, so won't we just be staring at the menu? We'll kind of go back and forth. So let's go ahead, and now we're going to go to Uh, give me a moment because my main goal now is to basically figure out how to connect it to the computer to transfer the videos over. And hopefully it doesn't require certain software in any way. There's our playback mode. So if you want to see a video you flip the mode part to where you see the camera. Okay. Press the play record button. And then to navigate the picture, excuse me, navigate the video. Let's see, index, watch on TV, display date and time. So let's see. Playback's the circle. Reverse, fast forward. Ah, it's the volume control that's interesting. The zoom on there is the volume control. There's your still image playback. So you would flip it, the mode, into the camera mode and then hit the play record button. And then you use your navigation to move around and then hit the uh, middle one to select it to play it, see. Okay, so Interesting. It looks like you could set it up to autoplay some some certain videos. Let's see. Playback demonstration. Playback files. Ooh, fancy. Add an effects to your little playback thing. Okay, so this is one way to, of course, view the videos. You should have gotten a AV cable that came with the camera. You know, it's the classic yellow, white, and red, or red, white, and yellow. That looks more yellow. I know it's less gray. <laughs> um, darker gray, gray. But yeah, I think so. But you could plug that in and watch it that way. But... We 
want to know about getting managing the files there we go okay so give me a moment let me just read through the manual here and then I can give you better instructions on how to get the actual videos off the camera and onto the computer about creating a playlist but that's just for our viewing Let's see playlist playlist print settings okay copying files using a DVD burn to copy files from the camera DV creation function okay let's see ah so that is a special burner apparently they were selling so that's not what we want into creating the DVD but remember that's a specialty DVD burner that apparently they were selling alongside this device it's like a, that's what it's talking about Okay, so this setting here where it says copy and remove still image files. Okay, so let's say you have some photos that are saved to the hard drive but not the SD card. This is where you can how you can move them or copy them to the SD card. So that's a very easy way to get the pictures off of there. Hopefully that'll be similar the way we can do videos because that would make it very easy to move our videos off of the hard drive there drop detection interesting troubleshooting so that's not exactly what we want I think I'm going to go back to the index 
I was cleaning. settings okay I'm gonna go back up to the beginning and read through the table of contents and see how we can get our video off of the device instead of burning it to a DVD. So, let's see. Copying files. Huh. backups okay so I guess that's so why do we get to 40 you just have to jump I guess jump 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 so this is they really have it set up so this is a device that you would just connect to a print certain printer and use certain software and it possibly could print yeah that's a specific type of printer or to copying files power level let's see direct DVD playback button switch mode set level of level lur hmm types of copy and connections Copy still images between the hard drive and the SD card with this camera. Okay. You can copy video files recorded on this camera into a DVD disc, but you have to have a special DVD burner. Well, I assume, Jane, that you don't have the DVD burner. Okay. 
it's all about creating it with a DVD burner. Well, let's see. But are still moving pictures. Hmm. Because what you'd really want to do is to copy the videos, like to the SD card, or plug it into the computer using USB and then just transfer the files over. But this manual does not discuss that, but there may still be a way to do that. We'll have to do a little research. Let's see, make sure that analog plugs. The other way they're showing it basically is, is if you have a recording device that records the yellow, you know, the RCA, the yellow, um, white, and red. Oh, there's the red, I think plugs so that could be a CD a DVD burner it could be a VCR which you don't want to do that because this is a digital you do you know we're all digital now hmm That's basically the instructions it's giving is to plug it into a device that can record video, which is this DVD burner. And instead of transferring files, you're copying. So not a big fan of that. Much rather just copy the files over. They do make devices, and there's even one that I use that allows me to record stuff, but mostly I use it to record stuff from old uh, VHS tapes, okay, to be able to transfer that over to, D to um, my hard drive. So I'm actually surprised that this does not show a way to just plug it in uh, to the plug here and then plug it into your computer and transfer the files that way. It either wants you to use their DVD burner or they want you to do this almost going back to analog here for a second and then recording it again or dubbing it Okay, so let me kind of do a little research here.
Okay. Okay, so that mainly looks like well, I'm actually having some kind of issue here. Am I still online? Yep, I'm still online. <laughs> okay. All right, my browser's having some issues for some reason, but we'll continue the search. So. Yes, Jane, I see that, that there are buttons that do that, but the problem is you'd have to have their specific device to be able to get that to work. But I'm actually having a Doing kind of a search around to see if I could actually find somebody that maybe has had the same issue or have been trying to do the same thing. Pretty 
digital camera view.